Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm Helena Beard, and I'm bringing you this Travel Mall video interview direct from Showcase Antigua and Barbuda in the beautiful island of Antigua here at the Royal Sun Hotel. Um, I'm joined today by the Executive Director of the Antigua and Barbuda Hotel Association, Mrs. Patrice Simon. Hello. Welcome to Travel Mall. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you and for joining me. Antigua. Oh, it's amazing. Yes. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so your role is to represent all of the <coughs> hotels in Antigua and Barbuda. How many hotels does yes. that mean? So there are 40 major properties that are here in Antigua and Barbuda, and they account for the majority of the rooms on the destination. And they are um, all members of the Antigua and Barbuda Hotels and Tourism Association. And that varies. So we're talking about the smaller properties. So we're talking um, 20 to 30 rooms, well over 300 room properties. Goodness me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, so have you seen any new hotel openings this year? How, have you been lucky enough to be seeing new product coming online there is a new product oh, in the okay. works actually okay, okay. Uh, it's called moongate and oh. it's going to be located at uh, the half moon bay which is actually one of the popular beaches on antigua and barbuda so we're looking forward to moongate coming on stream um bringing a, a unique experience um for, for visitors coming to Antigua, Half Moon Bay has quite a unique um, location in that it has this clay that you can actually go and bathe in. And they're using that oh, wow. particular product to put into their spa as well as an attraction for the hotel. Oh, okay. So some unique things coming on board. So we're excited to see that come to life. And when will that be opening, did you say? Um, they are hoping for winter 2022, 2023. So okay. we'll definitely keep an eye on that and so see that come an, on board. Keep an yes. eye open, see who's selling that in the UK. Yes, yes. People down there, brilliant. <laughs> um, how's it been during the pandemic for you? Have your hotels managed to keep their staff? Have they managed to reopen? Well, one of the things um, that we have prided ourselves for here at Antigua and Barbuda is not just the speed at which we open, but the, um, all the steps that were put in place to make sure that there was safety for our employees and also for our guests. And that speed allowed many of the employees to return to work. So currently, though, we're at about 80% of the employees in the industry, in the hotels specifically, back out to work. And the reasons why we're not at that higher level of 100% is because some properties have actually not reopened since the pandemic. But we have found um, that we have a lot of staff now moving into different properties. There are new skills, there's training, there's a lot happening. So we've been able to, to maintain and grow the staff that we have, not just training through new skills but also training through understanding how we're working in this new environment with the pandemic and all the protocols that I've put in place have helped to really guide them to make sure that everyone's safe and I think for us here in Antigua it's set us apart uh, in the Caribbean um, when you're coming to a destination you want to make sure that for us it's sun it's sea and it's safe so the employees have really been able to work through even the toughest times because, you know, the properties and, and the tours and the restaurants all put everything in place to make sure that they're safe and they can have longevity in their jobs. Fabulous. Yes. Good. Well, good luck. Yes. Um, at Travel Mall, I write a feature called The Unmissables, where we talk about unmissable experiences and hotels um, around the world. Yes. Um, if I only let you mention one thing in Antigua and Barbuda <laughs> that you feel that no, vi no visitor here should miss, what would, yeah. that, what would that be? Well, we quite recently launched a Barbuda campaign with the Tourism Authority. And when we talk about unmissables, it's really making sure that when you come to Antigua and you experience, yes, the larger island, that you take a moment and really head across to Barbuda as well and see the untouched um, paradise that is Barbuda, from the bird sanctuary to the caves to going to Princess Diana Beach. Um, it's just a different experience than the mainland. So for me, Unmissables is making sure that certainly you do come and enjoy the mainland, but you have a taste of Barbuda, a taste of what we call what I'm yes. And luckily for me, I'm actually going there tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> so thanks, very, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of Showcase. I think it's been a fabulous success. Oh, it's a pleasure uh, to have you here. Thank you very much. <laughs>